Here now, Mary Anastasia O'Grady, Wall Street Journal opinion columnist, a Fox Business contributor. The Constitution and the First Amendment are so triggering and harmful. That's what the, the students were essentially saying. Yeah, I mean, I, I, good for Judge Silberman to stand up on this because what he's talking about is protecting the norms, values, and traditions of free and just society, which is that we have, we're always going to have differences. We have to have a way to sort those differences out. And what's really interesting about what happened at Yale is that both people on the panel, both the progressive mm -hmm. and the conservative, agreed that this was a good forum to discuss their differences. So, you know, to have a mob, which is essentially a mob, to come and say that we will not allow the conservative to speak because we believe that we have the morally superior position and therefore this other person must be silenced is, is just not even close to the American tradition, legal tradition. So that's, I think, the main reason why Judge Silberman said, you know, we should think twice about people, young people trained to be lawyers who are basically holding an absolutist position like, you know, it's the French Revolution. Because the, the, these college campuses have been you know, petri dishes for censorship, and the um, in, uh, uh, the idiotic sensitivity of people, and so they've been feeding into corporate culture, like running. It. This is why you have a lot of the human resources policies that are in place. But this is very different because these are people who are these are law school students exactly. that will be potentially they like it, the basis of their education is should be upholding the law, and the law is the Constitution of the United States and protecting those freedoms. And that's the basis of the Republic. And that, so it's not just people who are being indoctrinated by these left wing ideals on college campuses. This goes far and above a step up. Yeah, and if you think about it, this is one of the most prestigious law schools in our, our country. And, you know, the idea that they, they were particularly upset about a certain issue with respect to this person speaking. But, you know, once you decide, okay, we've decided this topic, you may not disagree with us. This topic, you may not disagree with us. I mean, you kind of just undermine the whole idea of a free and I would say classical liberal society where you air these differences, you discuss them, you debate them, you try to form consensus, you try to, you know, come up with uh, what is civil society is organizing society, what the rules are, how we can coexist even though we disagree. And this strikes me as a rather almost barbaric uh, solution. And again, I, I go back to the French Revolution because in the French Revolution, the revolutionaries believed that they had a morally superior solution to organizing society. And then because of that, they were entitled to kind of just snuff out those people who didn't, dis didn't agree with them. And I think that's the kind of um, you know slippery slope you're on here if you begin to mm -hmm. say, this issue is my issue. I have, I have right. You are wrong, and therefore you must be silenced. And but that and that has spread throughout uh, much of, I'd say, corporate culture. Certainly, even in well, Twitter, they censored that. You know, it, it gets to the censorship, and I don't mean to go off course, but with the Hunter Biden laptop story of them just saying they're not going to try to verify it, they just shut it down and shut down the dissemination of it incorrectly. It wasn't, right. you know, it was proven it, it was true, and now the New York Times says it's true. Before we go, Yale, shouldn't Yale do more? They said that they're having discussions with these students. No punishment, though. Well, let's see how it goes, because I think the only way that this is going to change, really, is if people like Judge Silverman stand up and say, you know, we want to maintain a free, open, just society where we can debate ideas. And the market will kind of help us with that, right? Because people will want to go to law schools that produce credible lawyers. Right. You can stay in your parents' basement with that Yale Law <laughs> degree and you can just talk to yourself all you want and castigate and chastise yourself or maybe your parents. Mary, great to see you. Thank you so Thanks, much. Thanks, David. We'll be right back.